short-term memory is the type of memory responsible for holding, but not manipulating, a small amount of information in a readily available place for a short period of time. Short-term memory holds about seven pieces of information, and it lasts for about 20 to 30 seconds. In this video, I'll share my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information about short-term memory so you'll be ready for test day. Let's start off by talking about the information processing model, the primary framework used by psychologists to explain how memory works. According to this model, information to be remembered flows through an ordered sequence, starting in sensory memory, moving to short-term or working memory, and finally, ending in long-term memory. If the information fails to make it to the next step, then it is forgotten or wiped from memory. It can be really hard to remember the key features and differences between these types of memory. So for this scene, we're going to be focusing on the short-term memory. Mmm, it smells great in here. I just love bakeries. I could stay here all day. And this bakery is the best one in town for one thing only, strawberry shortcake. By the way, this shortcake coincidentally helps me remember short-term memory. Get it? Shortcake for short-term memory. Let's take a closer look around this shortcake bakery to learn more about short-term memory. First, check out the box the shortcake is being held in. It says, fragile, handle with care on it. This is definitely a thing. I mean, how many times have you ruined a cake by jumbling it around in the box? By the way, this box is for holding things, just like how the short-term memory is for holding information. But wait, this symbol gets even better. The fragile handle with care tag should help you remember that short-term memory technically holds information that is not manipulated in the mind. Yeah, you don't want to manipulate this box too much or you'll definitely ruin the shortcake. This is in sharp contrast to working memory a specialized subtype of short-term memory that can manipulate information. Short-term memory comes right after sensory memory in the information processing model of memory, and it's basically a short-term store of information you decided to pay special attention to. Remember, any information not moved from sensory memory to short-term is forgotten. Just remember this shortcake's fragile box to remember that short-term memory is for holding, but not manipulating information. It looks like the baker is making another shortcake. Let's see how he does it. He set this kitchen timer for something, and it's exactly 30 seconds. You know how you can set these 30-second timers by just turning a dial? Well, this 30-second timer reminds me of the fact that short-term memory retention lasts for about 30 seconds. Get it? 30 seconds for 30 seconds of storage? This is pretty short, but it lasts a lot longer than sensory memory, which, if you recall, only lasts for a couple seconds. Just picture this 30-second timer to recall that short-term memory allows for 30 seconds of retention. And now for the kicker. This shortcake bakery adds a special ingredient to make the shortcakes extra tasty. Well, maybe it's no secret since our chef is adding it right in front of our eyes. Yeah, that's right. It's 7-Up. Actually, putting soda in cakes is not that unique. Quite a few cake chefs do it. By the way, this 7-Up, coincidentally, helps me remember seven pieces of information, which is the capacity of short-term memory. Get it? 7-Up for seven pieces of information. If you want, you can use the two-liter bottles here to help you remember plus or minus two, which is the range that short-term memory's capacity varies. You know, seven plus or minus two. Remember these 2-liter bottles of 7-Up, and you'll remember the capacity of short-term memory is 7 plus or minus 2 pieces of information. All right, that's it for short-term memory. Let's recap quickly so we don't disturb the baker too long. Short-term memory is the type of memory responsible for holding but not manipulating a small amount of information. Short-term memory holds around 7 pieces of information, and it lasts for about 30 seconds. We're done with short-term memory. Seeing all this shortcake is making me hungry. Let's grab a snack before diving into more Pixarize videos. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow.
I'll see you next time.